Okay, the third type of max min problem would be a profit revenue questions. Um, so you're always given two pieces of information, something uh, in this case, we're selling cars and how much money we're given. So two sort of units. So car dealerships can sell 20 cars per week at a profit of $2,400 each. So I'm gonna circle, this has gotta be one unit, cars, and then money, I'm gonna put in a box. I'm making it a different shape, okay? For every $300, they increase their profit. They sell one less car per week, which makes sense if you're increasing it. Not as many people, it's a higher price, are going to buy it. Determine the maximum profit the dealership can make and how many cars they would sell. So max profit tells me I'm gonna have a negative A value and it tells me too it's a max min problem. Okay, so $300 is linked to the $2,400. You're gonna be comparing money. So I'm gonna put a box around that and it increases. So there's always one that's gonna increase, one that's going to decrease in these questions. Then they sell one less car per week. So our unit is car, so one less car, so we're gonna circle that. Okay, so the cars are gonna get in one set of brackets, the information, and the money is gonna be in the other, okay? The X value is always going to represent basically the number of increases or decreases. In this case, you have both. So it's kind of just, we don't need to write that out every time, but I just want you to think about it as kind of the increase, decrease piece. Okay, so what does max profit mean? Well, I'm gonna make money if I sell cars. If I sell two cars, I double my profit. So it's based on maximum profit. It's gonna be based on the number of cars sold times the price per car. And in this case, I wrote price per car. It's really profit per car. They would sell, this is how much money the actual dealership makes on each car. All right, so max profit, we're gonna just call that our Y value. How many cars sold? There was 20, but minus one X. That's one less, so less is minus. So 20 minus X. Price per car is $2,400 but I increase it by $300, my profit. So it's plus, because it's increase, 300X. So your X always goes with the increase, decrease part, okay? You always have one positive and negative if it's a max problem. All right, now you're gonna FOIL this out so that you can complete the square. So FOIL this out. You can kind of do that on your own if you wish and kind of pause the video and look at the answer after. I'm gonna combine like terms, but I'm gonna keep it in descending order. So it's gonna go x squared first. All right. So in case you were doing that on your own, I didn't sort of talk out loud there, but now that you've got that, y equals negative 300x squared plus 3600x plus 48,000. Let's complete the square. We're gonna group that. We're gonna factor out the negative 300. That'll change this sign. We're gonna put in our blank and we'll leave that 48,000 there, okay? And then what goes in the blank? B over two squared. So 12 divided by two is six, six squared is 36, minus 36 times negative 300. Remember, you gotta times it by that A value there. Can't quite see that, there we go. So negative thick 36 times negative 300. I had to multiply it by that. All right, I started writing this out already. I was getting ahead of myself here. So this is x minus 6 squared, because you square root 36 to get 6. 48,000, okay? Add this now. So when you simplify that, sorry, I'm moving the camera around here a little bit. 58,800. There we go. Okay, there we go. So what do all these represent? Okay, the Y value is going to represent um, the max profit. The X value is the X value in these equations right here, okay? So let me just be clear on what my vertex is. So it's positive six. Remember, it appears to be the opposite sign. All right, so my max profit is what it's asking. What's the max profit and how many cars would I sell? So my max profit is $58,800. It's the Y value. How many cars are sold? So how many cars? Number of cars is represented by 20 minus X. So that's 20 minus six equals 14 cars. So there is my answer. Now, I could ask one more question, just so you know, there's always three th things that could be asked. Max profit, number of cars. I could also ask price per car. So I'm just gonna make a little note and go down here and say note price 
per car would be 2,400 plus 300 X. Only answer this if you're asked. You don't want to just, you know, answer everything you and write down everything because it's not clear then if you can decipher between them. So X value was six. So this was $4,200. The only other reason I would maybe do this is to check if I went 4,200 times 14, and you can put this in a calculator real quick if you wish, you'll get 58,800. So you'll see these two multiplied together would equal this. When the numbers are larger like this, um, you'd be able to use a calculator on, on an assessment.